Bless up again my viewers, welcome back to the movements, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell you know, whenever you subscribe. But remember, road to 20k subscriber, we only need 3000 more subscribers to reach the mark. 61 year old man charged for a rape of Westmoreland 13 year old girl. The police in Westmoreland have charged a 61 year old for alleged incident of rape of a 13 year old girl in Orange Hill District, Darlington. Charge is 61-year-old Wesley Stone of the above address. The Savlamar police report that on Thursday, October the 6th and Saturday, October the 8th, 2022, the accused, who is a family friend, was at home with the complainant when he alleged the sexual, sexual assault. Her. A report was made to the police and an investigation was launched. He was subsequently charged. However, this court date is not yet finalized by the police. Operating threats must be well maintained. Illegal gun seized in Portmore, two arrested. Cop attached to the St. Catherine South Police this morning. Arrested two men following the seizure of a Ruger pistol and a nine and nine rounds of ammunition in the community of Bridgeport in Portmore. The Portmore police report that about 4.05 a.m. lawmen were on an operation at a premises when the firearm and ammunition were seized. Their identities are being withheld pending further investigation. Curfew in Bayshore Park, Kingston extended. The curfew which was imposed by the police in Bayshore Park, Kingston has been extended. The new measures begin at 8 p.m. on Sunday, October the 16th and will remain in effect until 8 p.m. Tuesday, October the 18th. The boundaries of the curfew are as follows. South along Fraser, Gaspol Boulevard from the cement company Eastern Boundary to Arbor Drive. East along Arbor Drive from Sir Flurzel Glasspole Boulevard to the Crusher Lane, then along the imaginary line to the cement company Dirt Road. West along the eastern boundary of the cement company from Sir Flurzel Glasspole Boulevard to the cement company Dirt Road. Not along the cement company dirt road running from the cement company eastern boundary to an imaginary line intersecting with an imaginary line extending from crusher lane so right now as you can see yeah man be curfew job because violence turn up away sentence police probing alleged sexually assault of visitor at a hotel the police in Santana are probing the alleged sexually assault of a female visitor at a hotel in the parish. A search is on the way to locate her alleged attacker. It is reported that the woman and a man said to be a photographer became acquaintance subsequent to her arrival in Jamaica from the United States. On October the 5th, it is being alleged that on Sunday afternoon the woman went to the restroom at the property and while there she was reportedly lured into a cubicle by the man and was assaulted she reportedly then revealed the incident to a relative and a report was subsequently made to the hotel she was later taken to the sentence bay regional hospital the alleged perpetrator is being sought by the police. St. Catherine Music Police are charged over ammunition seized. 40 year old Dwight Johnson, otherwise called Vibes Machine, a music producer of Lime Tree Grove in St. Spanish Town, St. Catherine, is scheduled to face the court following an incident at his home on Saturday, October the 15th. The Spanish Town Police report that about 2 pm, lawmen were on patrol when they conducted a search of a premises in the area. 
Johnson was subsequently charged with illegal possession of ammunition and now awaiting a court date. Some viewers, as you can see, the chaos and the mayhem continues. They must find a whole heap of machine. They must, they must find a whole heap of machine which is good because getting these machines off of the road is more important than anything else. Man freed of harboring one of St. James' most wanted man. Fugitive. The St. Elizabeth man who was found in the company of Anthony Agus, who was one of St. James' most wanted men, was last week freed of charge of harboring a fugitive. Orrin Watson, a resident of Burn Savannah in St. Elizabeth, appeared in the St. Elizabeth Parish Court to answer the charges. Prosecutors, however, concede that there was no evidence from the statement that they that were collected by the police that suggest Watson had any knowledge of August being wanted. Being wanted by the police in connection with series of criminal offences. The presiding judge subsequently freed Watson. He was arrested on Friday, October the 7th at a house in Bourne 7, where the police also found August, who had been featured in Jamaica's Constable Force, JCF, Wanted Wednesdays, social media campaign two days earlier. It was reported that a team from the Counter-Terrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Brad Sita swooped down on the house and realized that he was surrounded by a highly trained operative. He then surrendered. Watson was also arrested and later charged with harboring a fugitive.